On this week's show, Caden Salter and the Flames are back on the field, and we get you ready for baseball season. Plus, we talk to Liberty Golf alum Kieran Vincent about his rise to the Live Tour, and Liberty athletes celebrate Valentine's Day by giving back. It's all straight ahead. You're watching Flame Central. Love is in the air and on my tie this week. Welcome to Flame Central. Thanks for getting in on the festivities. Oh, it was, Finally, the Grinch yeah. celebrates one holiday, and now I'm getting... Well, some of us celebrated more. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Hope you had a great one. She's Emily. I'm Matt. And we'll show you how some Liberty student-athletes celebrated the holiday in just a bit. Believe me, you're going to want to stick around for that. But with spring football getting underway, plus our genuine love mm. for the game, we start things off on the gridiron. Yeah, you know, fresh off a of Conference USA Championship in a 13-1 season, not much to complain about in regards to Liberty football right now. So as spring ball begins, the Flames coaching staff is focused on making sure last year's success doesn't lead to complacency. Take, for instance, quarterback Caden Salter. It'd be easy after last season for the quarterback to think he's arrived. I mean, all he did was put together the greatest season by any quarterback in Flames history. 32 passing touchdowns, another 12 on the ground, rushed for over 1,000 yards, threw for nearly 3,000. But according to co-offensive coordinator Willie Korn and the quarterback himself, there's an awareness that he can still be even better next year if he attacks the opportunity with the right mindset. I texted Caden before we started up this spring. Like, I want to see, like, you were extremely hungry to prove yourself and win the job. Like, you were foaming at the mouth to win this job. Now that you've won the job and now you're the guy and every, all eyes are on you, it, it has to be that and more. He's still scratching the surface. As great of a year as he is, there's still some little um, technique things um, that he can continue to imp improve upon. But of course, I know the plays and the schemes, but like I said, it's just the little things that I got to get better at it. Knowing the protections, knowing to pick up the blitzes, knowing which way my line sliding when I do make the protection and just things like that. So, I mean, as always, things to get better at it. Just with this type of offense, you can learn something new about it every day. If you want to see Caden Salter and the rest of the Flames in action, come on out to the Liberty Football Spring Game on March 2nd at Williams Stadium. There will be inflatables. There will be autographs. Woo! And most importantly, there will be a look at what's to come in the 2024 season. So come on out to the Spring Game March 2nd. Sounds like a great time. Another quick update from the gridiron. Do you guys remember Xavier Gadlin? Yes. How do you not? I mean, how do you forget that guy? The offensive lineman had an all-conference season with the Flames, an impressive performance at the East-West Shrine Bowl, and now he's been invited to the 2024 NFL Combine. Gadlin is among 321 prospects, 70 offensive linemen, who were invited to ND. The annual workouts are set for February 26th through March 4th. Not sure if there's, like, a band playing at the Combine, but if so, I have a feeling Gadlin We'll find a way to direct it, but really, we all know he deserves to be in the spotlight, so looking forward to his shot at the next level. To the Diamond, baseball season is officially here. In their first year in Conference USA, the Flames are projected to finish second. While we're still about a month away from seeing CUSA competition, we wanted to give you a quick season preview of what to expect from this year's team before Liberty takes the field to host Quinnipiac this weekend. This group's fun to coach and it gives me energy and gives them energy and all those things that you want to be there are certainly there for us in the preseason. I feel like we got a little bit of everything this year, so I mean, everyone's going to give it all we have. This team's very gritty and just wants to compete and win, so I'm excited to see what we can do. I think the expectations are that we come out and be better than we were last year. We want to grow, we want to be good, and with the team that we have this year, there's no telling how far we can go. I think we have a really good chance to do something special this year. I know that we're going to have a great time letting everybody know who we are. Any team playing against us, they're going to have a tough time being us. It's a great group. I'm looking forward to, to the ride with them. 
Well, if that doesn't get you fired up for baseball season, then there's no helping you. But if you are looking forward to this Liberty season, you should check out this week's Flame Central podcast powered by Alcova Mortgage. Our guest was Flames baseball coach Scott Jackson, and he talked about what's on the horizon for his squad. How excited are you about this season? What are what is the main strength for this team going in? Yeah, good questions. I I, I think um, the thing that I'm most excited about is is like the journey with this group of guys. Like I, I don't know what God's got for us, but um, Richie McKay told me something when I first got here that's always stuck with me. Get get a get a bunch of guys you can lose with mm, yeah. um, and go to war with, mm. and that's always just stuck with me. And man, these guys are. They're going to be so much fun, um, just the way that they've worked. And, you know, we've got some some true, I think, leaders on our team, um, some older players that are mature. So I, I think that's what I'm looking forward to most. You know, it's, it's such a uh, I don't want to say a grind, but it's a long season. You know, we play 55 games and you just want to you want to do it with people that you enjoy being around, whether it's your staff or your players. And we've just had a blast with this group since the fall. I've just I mean, it's been awesome. To hear more from this interview, including Coach Jackson, Joe Yock, and Emily Austin sharing their personal stories about running marathons, <laughs> who doesn't want to hear that? Check out this week's podcast. We also cover the Super Bowl and, more importantly, talk Liberty Hoops. The Flame Central Podcast, powered by Alcova Mortgage. A new episode releases every Monday. You can listen or watch on the Liberty Flames YouTube channel. Matt Warner did not have a marathon story. Hey, you know, we need to get Dot Richardson on the podcast soon. She's always entertaining. And speaking of Dot, we all know how she really pushes her team in that non-conference schedule. Lady Flames taking on UCF. Rachel Roop already off to a hot start this season here, recording her 100th career RBI. But let's go to the seventh, Matt. The Lady Knights leading 7-2. Last chance for LU, and Megan Fortner knows it as she delivers a two-run triple to deep center field. Time for a little two-out rally, maybe, and it's an opposite field double for Haley Dieter. That brings the tying run to the plate. However, too little, too late as UCF holds on for this 7-5 victory. All right, let's head to the links. We gave you an update on former Flame Kieran Vincent last week. He's been a busy guy since leaving the mountain back in 2022. Today, he's playing on the Live Tour with John Rahm's Legion 13 team, where they just picked up their first team win at Live Mayakoba a couple weeks ago. And now let's catch up with the former flame. Kieran, it's been an eventful year and a half since you left the mountain. What's one word you would use to describe your journey so far? I would say adventurous. I've gone to so many different destinations, so many different places, experienced so many cool people, you know, traveled the world and just had a blast while doing it. And so it's been adventurous to say the least. Yeah, it's been so fun to try and keep up with what country you're in. But let's go back to this past December. You had to win a spot in a playoff at the Live Golf Promotions event. What was the pressure like in that situation? It was actually kind of surreal because it made the that chapter so important. Um, it was good to kind of be able to go through the long tiredness of that whole tournament um, to be able to kind of reap the rewards of playing for this year and so it was it was a long day um, it was a hard day um, it was a grueling test both mentally and physically um, and yeah obviously going about it and playing that 36 holes in that final day um, you know coming down to the last couple of shots it it was it was nerve-wracking to say the least but I guess you can say the pressure paid off because then you found yourself on John Rahm's Legion 13 team. How did you guys meet or get connected? Yes, actually, the, the first time I actually ever met John is we had um, a photo shoot for the Live Golf um, teams and events. Um, and so I got the call that I was on John's team on that Monday when I was down in, in Miami for the photo shoot. And about two hours later, John came in, and so that was the first time I met him. Super nice guy from the get-go. Um, very warm, very welcoming. And I just knew, like, wow, like, this is this is really cool. Like, not only is it an awesome opportunity, but, like, this guy is just so down-to-earth, such, such a nice guy. Obviously, the addition of the other two guys in our team, Terrell Hatton and Caleb, it was just, it's just been such a, a great time because we're all new to live golf, new wish to live golf, and we're all new to like each other and so we're learning each other we're learning like the ropes um and so yeah it's just been a 
been an awesome like time and obviously John's just been a great part of that because he's you know he's just such a nice guy both on and off the golf course. And your brother Scott has been playing with Liv since 2022. How has it been playing on tour with him? Great. Um, he is an awesome guy and we've just obviously missed each other um, being you know from five years apart be it high school or be it college golf or be it you know the beginning of his professional golf like we never really spend a whole lot of time together and then I finally make it onto Asian tour and he's playing live golf and then I was like man like we just kind of missed each other so much that is so special okay last question what has God taught you on this journey so far yeah there's uh, he's taught me so much um I think patience has been the big thing it's not necessarily my time or my like course basically yeah once i was done after college in five years i thought i had a decent season and and the world would unravel in front of me um and it didn't and so i'm scrambling around trying to figure out what to do and coach graciously you know had me back for another year and then you know you look at how the season unfolded i i go and play in pj tour canada thinking i'm going to stick around in in north america because i'm accustomed like i'm i'm used to this I don't necessarily want to go over to Asia. Like it's it's a great spot, but it's not good for me. And now all of a sudden I find myself playing a full year out there, like meeting some awesome people. And I'm like, you know what, this is actually enjoyable. And so it's just been a whirlwind of like emotions from like, hey, I think this is this is something that I want to do. And God's like, actually, like I got, you know, bigger and better plans for, the, for you. And so it's basically just kind of understanding like, hey, like I went, like he's in control, you know, his timing is perfect. And so, I've kind of been very, very fortunate with that, that he's, he's, you know, had my, had my back every step of the way. And he's definitely, you know, been there with me every step of the way. And so it's definitely been more of a realization as I, as I look back and I look at how the years have kind of unfolded of like, man, like, like it's definitely his timing. Like, let's just believe in that and trust in that. Karen, you have such an amazing testimony. Thanks so much for your time. Hey, don't get too big time for us here on the mountain. No, I'll be back sooner probably than you even think. Obviously, Liberty's been such a core place for me. I've, I've grown and shaped the, the person that I am today. So the college, the coaches, the, the everybody that's kind of been there for me. All right, well, we'll continue to be your biggest fans. Best of luck on the rest of the Live Tour. All right, coming up after a quick timeout, see how Liberty student athletes are showing their love and appreciation on Valentine's Day. Plus, Rep McGibbon joins the show to name his top athletes of the week. It's warm, hot, and fuego when Flame Central returns. A college degree is more than a diploma. It's taking control of your future and finding that next step. At Liberty University, we not only care about your career, we also care about your calling. And we want to help you learn, develop, and grow so you can make an impact as a champion for Christ. Over 600 online programs, one you, infinite possibilities. Being a parent and helping your kids through school, it's not exactly easy. I mean, there's waking up at 5 a.m., the morning routine, helping with homework, sitting in traffic. You get it. What if there was a way you could get your kids a quality Christian education where they can work at any pace, any time, from anywhere? School that works for your schedule and frees your kids to keep doing what they love. Well, that's exactly what we do. LUOA, school that goes where you do.
So you're looking for a university that has anything you could possibly need. Anything? You want a place that has the programs you want to study. I think I'm going to sign up for the fashion design program. All right. A place with state-of-the-art facilities. <laughs> and who doesn't love big time sports? Somewhere you can hike, slide, climb, and most importantly, eat. And all that with a great view? Yeah, I think I know a place. William Byron's gonna win! William Byron wins it at Atlanta! Hugs that white line, drifts up and comes to the line. Come on, wins it! Welcome back to the show. The Liberty basketball program is one that preaches family. Now, that's not unusual in college athletics, but what is more unique is how many actual family members they have within their program. That list includes the Vinzants, Joseph, who you probably know from his three years here at Liberty, and Daniel, his older brother, whose time in the Flames family only recently began. Joseph Vinzant is in the midst of his best collegiate season. The Vinzant takes some contact and he just so happens to be doing it with his older brother sitting courtside. Daniel Vinzant was a college basketball player himself, playing at both Cal State Fullerton and St. Edwards University before playing professionally. But recently, Daniel had begun to think about a different role within the game, and that's where Liberty comes in. Things just started changing for me, like I kinda wanted something new, and I called Coach McKay. It just so happened that uh, a spot opened up and, you know, coach uh, felt led to, to offer him the GA job and the, uh, I thought it was just a great opportunity for uh, obviously us to get closer, but uh, for him to get closer in his relationship with, uh, with Christ and everything. So uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for him and I'm glad he's here. Every time I'd watch him interact with one of our players or do a workout with, with Joseph, I was like, man, this guy is really good. His voice is fabulous. Daniel Van Sant is a life speaker. Being that Daniel is four years older than Joseph, the two haven't been able to spend much time together in recent years. But this opportunity at Liberty is bringing them closer than ever. Since I've been here, like we've gone, like we bonded like so much more, which I love because now he's older and I'm older. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we can have serious talks about things. Like if he's going through something, if I'm going through something. So like, that's been big for me, just like building that stronger relationship with him because we weren't able to have that. And while Daniel has helped Joseph's game. Joseph plays better when Daniel's around. It's off the court where the two are developing a new love and admiration for each other. Yes, on the court, you know, I'm, I'm proud of him, but like what I'm more impressed with is what he brings off the court and just speaking life and everybody. And to me, like he's my little brother, but like honestly, like he's kind of someone I look up to in a way because like he's very wise and he's very mature for his age so it's something that I've learned from him. He's always been very disciplined and I think this uh, his approach to, to the game and just like to life I think I've always looked up to him like this uh, his ability to never give up and he's always been uh, uh, an overcomer uh, having him here and having him uh, uh, being able to challenge me and something I need he's always challenged me to, to be better so I think it's a great opportunity for me to uh, him to be here. Thanks to Matt for producing that great piece. You know, brotherly love isn't the only love in the air. With Valentine's Day this week, Liberty student athletes wanted to make sure the staff members felt loved and appreciated for all of their hard work and dedication. Here's a behind the scenes look at how they express their heartfelt gratitude. We're sending Valentine's to the staff at Liberty and just appreciating them for all the support they give us. I think like focusing on loving others was really cool. They do a lot for us. They deserve to be able to just feel appreciated. So we're making uh, cards and letters for them to show appreciation for them. It's just cool to be able to serve those who serve us and just give back to those who have given a lot to us throughout the year. Hey, it's Valentine's Day. So that means it's delivery day. Let's go. Yay! Happy Valentine's Day. 
Ashley, we have some gifts for you. Oh my gosh. You know, I think it's just, it's awesome. You know, they're student athletes, they have busy schedules. You know, they've got classes, practices, lift, things like that. And for them to just take the time um, to kind of give back to us, you know, a lot of times our work goes unnoticed. And so the little things, whether it's candy or just, you know, a little note, something like this, it just, it means a lot. That's nice. That's nice. You're welcome. Oh, y'all are so sweet. And it just kind of reminds me of why I do what I do. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, great to see our athletes giving back to those yeah. people that are working so hard behind the scenes. All right, Rhett McGibbons here. Of course, you know what that means. Warm, hot, That's and right. fuego. Top play, player moment from the past week in Liberty Athletics. Now, right around here, you're known as Dr. Love. Oh, yeah. uh, so it's fitting, <laughs> yeah. with this being Valentine's <laughs> yeah, Week, right. that you have a Valentine's theme this I week. do. I, right? You know, I'm just thinking about relationships. Yes. Since Valentine's Day, everybody wants to have that See? special someone. See what I'm saying? Yeah, for yeah. warm, I think you don't want to focus on the here and now. You want to think long term, the long game, right? That's right. Nobody here recently has been better at the long game than Rachel Rue. Roop. I see what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Two-run home run walk-off winner for Rachel Roop versus St. John's. Overall, so far this season, it has been a tremendous start for this young lady. Last week, she is the CUSA Player of the Week, right? Yeah. She went 10 of 14 at the plate, <laughs> hitting 714. She had a triple, two home runs, four RBI. She is the key cog in this very young softball team. Yeah. I want to put that out there for people maybe like, What's happening? They are playing a tough non-con schedule. They always, they always do that. Do but when you look at the pitching, you know, I call her Babyface Bachman. All right, <laughs> Babyface Bachman is the main one in the circle this season. They have a, after that, it's all newcomers. Yeah. This team's going to take a little time to gel. Give them some time. At the end of the day, they're going to be really tough to get out. And it helps if Roop continues to yes, hit it that exactly, pace. Yeah. All right, for more, we go to high. All right, also in a relationship, yes. you want somebody that's going to carry their weight, right? You kind of want yes. that balance. Yes. You know, you do maybe, you do obviously want to do more than 50%, right, but you kind right. of have that thing. Desmond Coleman, this guy, weight throw, he's Carrying just, the weight. He's just throwing it around. Saying. Exactly. Yeah. 68 feet and a half an inch broke the Liberty program record by 11 inches at wow. the Darius Dixon. All right, he was in fifth place, and all of a sudden he was just like right here. You can see it. Woo! And then boom, he knew number one takes first place. Does he now, do when he lets it go? Does he go? Woo! I, you know, that, he really should. He, a little Ric Flair yeah. action to it. <laughs> <laughs> number one in Conference USA this season. But Desmond Coleman, this is a guy that's come on this season and has just Monster. every time he's out yeah. there, he's doing something new and even better. And great to see him holding a Liberty program record now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Finally, Rhett in Fuego. And I hope the folks have been taking notes at home yes. about these yeah, relationship yeah, yeah. tips. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. This is. A, you know, key in my marriage. Right. So the last thing you need is a little bit of excitement. You do. You know, you just can't. <laughs> yes, you, you need do. a little thrill here yes. and there. You can't have it all the time. But there's certain <laughs> times in life when you just want that spark, right? Yes. Enter Caden Matheny. Cade Liberty Matheny. basketball. 2.1 seconds left. And what does Caden do? He gives you that spark in the romance <laughs> yes. that you need with Liberty <laughs> basketball. The huge triple. Call him the clutch yeah. factor. Whatever you want. But what a shot. Knocking off number one in the conference. And uh, just a great play by him. 21 points on the night, yeah. and most of those coming up after the half as well. They, he knew that the Flames needed him to produce offensively and comes up with a big shot, a huge dub for the team, and setting them up nicely here yeah. in the back half of conference play. Dr. Love, Rhett McGibbon, yes, helping your relationships and showing us some great <laughs> playing knows? performances. Rhett, great job <laughs> as always. All right, still to come, some of your favorite Liberty athletes celebrate Valentine's Day in hilarious fashion. You don't want to miss this. That's when Flames Central returns. Welcome to Liberty University's online programs, where living out your calling with integrity is what you train to do. And getting ready for the future doesn't mean missing out on the now. Because a university is more than buildings and books, and an education should set you free, not fence you in. Welcome to Liberty's global campus, where distance learning was pioneered and evolved into one of the top-ranked schools in the nation. We're protecting your budget, your time, and your education isn't just a theory, it's our priority. Here, degrees in your field reflect industry demands and help you get ahead of the competition. Where college comes to you, but you can come to college too. Game day, homecoming, graduation day. Your school, your values, your experience, your choice. Welcome to Liberty University, where we train champions for Christ. At Liberty University, we don't just believe everyone should have access to higher education, we make it happen. That's why we are offering our Middle America Scholarship to help families like yours by providing over $20,000 over the course of four years. 
money should not hold you back from the life-changing experience at Liberty University. Find out if you qualify for the Middle America Scholarship today. Welcome back to the show. Maybe you were able to celebrate Valentine's Day this year with that special someone, mm -hmm. all because of a charming opening line you delivered that kicked off the relationship. Matt, you know how I picked up my husband? How's that? I asked him, do you have a map? And he said, no, why? And I told him, I just got lost in your eyes. Oh, okay. You think that's yeah. bad? Take a listen to some Liberty Student Athletes pickup lines. Hot seat, Valentine's Day edition. All right, come on. Do you mind if I tie your shoe? I don't want you falling for nobody else. Are you my wisdom teeth? Because I have a feeling I should take you out as soon as possible. You know how I got hurt? I fell for you. <laughs> you know, I've broken a lot of bones, but I'd still let you break my heart. What's up, Ma? How you doing? Are you alone? Because you got my inches. You know, I've been looking through numbers, and I just can't find yours in here. You know, the Bible always talks about heaven coming down to earth, but looks like it's already here. If we were playing tennis, I'd let you score all the points, so I'll always be in love. Are you a fastball? Because my heart races every time I see you. Do you play soccer? Because you look like a keeper. Are you a goalkeeper? Because I can't get past you. If you can return my serve, I'll return your call. Are you a parking ticket? Because you got fine written all over you. <laughs> Are you a Wi-Fi signal? Because I'm feeling a strong connection here. Te llamas Google porque tienes todo lo que estoy buscando. Do you believe in love at first sight? Or do I need to walk by again? If you were a vegetable, you'd be a cute cumber. Are you a date? Because between me and you, you're the one for me. Y'all didn't get it? You were like February 14th, 2-14. So between me and you, you're the one for me. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. You can start running after your dreams, because I'm right here. On a scale of one to America, how free are you this weekend? Let's flip a coin. Heads, I'm yours. Tails, you're mine. Are you a song? Because I can't get you out of my head. Do you know what my shirt is made out of? Girlfriend material. <laughs> That's okay. all I have. <laughs> Uh, my favorite one, Reagan Underwood, the oh, Wi-Fi yeah. signal. That was great. <laughs> the delivery is yeah, perfect. I like great. the tennis, always be in love yeah, one. Yeah. All right, we're about out of time, but be sure you check out the Flame Central podcast powered by Alcoba Mortgage. We drop a new episode every Monday. Go to libertyflamecentral.com for any stories that you might have missed. For Emily, I'm Matt. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you right back here next week.